Hi, welcome back to Try It Tuesday. Hope you like my cap I'm wearing because I'm gonna show you how to make your very own tie-dye cap. So, let me let you get a little zoom in on that. This is what we'll be doing this week. So if you stop by the library on Tuesday at 4 p.m., you'll get the supplies to make your very own tie-dye cap. So let me show you what you'll find in your kit. You'll get a um, plain white cap, We'll have some rubber bands. You're gonna get a little tub of vinegar and you're gonna get a little tub of dried butterfly pea flowers. That's hard to say, <laughs> but you're gonna get a tub of that. And this is the dye right here. And then the, the vinegar will help it change colors. So you'll have two different colors. So the things that you'll need to supply at home are um, you'll need to have four cups of water you're going to have to boil the water. Uh, two bowls or cups, some sort of containers, so you can separate the two different dye colors. Uh, a pair of scissors, a spoon, and it's good to have some napkins on hand. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to put my cap back on. <laughs> so the first thing you're going to need to do is boil four cups of water. You can do that on the stove. You can do it in a microwave safe measuring cup, but you need about four cups of uh, boiling water and you're going to put that into either the container it's in that's microwavable safe or into a bowl and to that, to the hot water, you're going to add the dried butterfly pea flowers. Okay, so I don't have any water in here. I'm just going to pretend I'm adding it. You're going to go ahead and stir it and then you're going to let that sit for about four or five hours so that the dye can develop nicely and the water can cool down, okay? So let's pretend magic of television. I have waited four or five hours and I have my dye here ready. And it's this really pretty, hopefully you can see it's this really pretty blue color. You can even see the flowers still floating around in there. This is kind of dark blue color here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide that up into my two containers two containers here. Hopefully I won't spill any of this. <laughs> so there's one. I don't have the same size bowl, but uh, in doing this, I noticed that a wider bowl works better instead of something tall like this, like this uh, pitcher. Something wider uh, worked better for me, but you can experiment and see what works best for you. Okay, so it's good to have a little napkin on hand. So as you can see, they're both blue here. I'm gonna go ahead and get my vinegar and add it to one of the tubs of dye. And you can already see the magic happening. It's changing to this purpley color. And actually the more you add, the pinker it will get. And you can let that sit for a while. You can also take the uh, Take the uh, flowers out if you like, but it, it, no harm if it stays in there. So if hopefully you can see them side by side. Now you have two different colors of dye to work with, okay? So we're gonna just kind of set that on the side for a moment. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get your cap. If you have a tag on it, you might wanna take that off. <laughs> and then you're going to start with the rubber bands to uh, create your tie dye effect. So you can just pinch it anywhere, anywhere on the cap, and you're gonna wrap it with your rubber band. You're gonna remember to wrap it really tightly, okay? Several times. You can get really fancy with this, but I just like doing random, random wraps all over the place, okay? You can twist it before you wrap it. Some people do the little twist like this. Just get creative with it. <laughs> this part is hard. <laughs> Here we go. So I'm just gonna do a couple, but you can do as many rubber bands as you like. Okay. We're gonna try that one one more time. <laughs> I think the wrapping is the most challenging part. Okay, here we go. So once you're done 
with however many rubber bands you want to add to your cap. You're going to run this under water and you're going to saturate the whole hat under uh, cool water is fine just to um, uh, soften the fabric. Oops, actually one other thing I just noticed in the cap, there is this cardboard. Don't forget to remove this from your cap. I didn't notice it was in there. So take that out. So saturate the cap with water and then what you're going to do is submerge it in the dye. And you're going to want to leave it for, I would say, four hours. The longer you leave it, the more the color will be absorbed. So I'm not going to put this one in here because this is one of the ones we're going to distribute to the public <laughs> and I don't want to steal one from, from y'all. But we're going to set that in there and then once that's absorbed, like four hours or so, I'm going to go ahead and flip it and then I'm going to go ahead and set it in the other color. Okay? So let it sit in there for another four hours. The longer you let it sit, the more the color will absorb into the hat. So once you're done and you're happy with the colors, um, actually one other tip, even while you have it sitting in there, you can spoon some of the dye into different areas of the cap. But once you're happy, it's sat in there for a while, you're going to take it out and then you're going to let it sit. I would sit this out in the sun and let it completely dry. And then once it's completely dry, you're going to go ahead and take your scissors and just cut off your rubber bands. That's the easiest way to get the rubber bands off. Trying to untie, un untwist them is rather difficult. So that's what the scissors, where the scissors comes in handy. So you're going to go ahead and cut them off. So glad I only did two. <laughs> now I only have to take two off. And then you're going to, uh, it'll already be dry and then you're going to kind of let it sit and the wrinkles will fall out. Um, one other tip, once you've taken your hat out of the dye, don't throw away your dye because once it's completely dry and you remove the rubber bands, you might find areas that you want to add dye to. And I did that on this cap here. I went after it was completely dry, I went back to my dye and I kind of spooned some of the uh, dye in different areas onto the cap. So don't throw it away until you're absolutely completely done with your project. But that is it. I hope you enjoyed making your cap and I hope you'll take a picture and send us uh, what you've created. See you next week. Aloha.